Hey everyone, welcome back to Visual Gravity. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a stunning product animation in Blender with a realistic snake wrapping around a bottle. All right, let's get started with our snake product animation. First, I'll import the three main models we'll be using, the bottle, the snake, and the wooden base. These will be the core of our scene. I'll start by positioning the bottle on top of the wooden base. This gives us a clean product setup, almost like a commercial style ad. Placing the objects in the right spot at the beginning makes everything else easier later on. If you want to follow along exactly with me, I've included a link in the description where you can download the full project file along with all of these assets. That way, you don't have to spend time modeling and you can jump straight into the animation part. Now let's move to the snake. I'll select it and the first thing I'll do is scale it down to a size that looks natural next to the bottle. Once it's the right size, I'll move it along the x-axis to place it near the bottle where we'll start animating it. After that, it's important to apply the scale. Applying the scale makes sure that all the transformations and modifiers we add later will behave correctly. Without doing this step, you might run into weird stretching issues, so always remember to apply the scale whenever you resize an object. So now we have our bottle on the wood, the snake placed in the scene, and everything scaled and ready. In the next step, we'll set up a curve to animate the snake and wrap it perfectly around the bottle. Now let's bring the snake to life using a curve. First, I'll add a curve into the scene. Then I'll select the snake, go over to the modifiers panel, and add a curve modifier. In the curve option, I'll pick the curve we just created. With that setup, if I move the snake along the x-axis, you'll notice it starts following the path of the curve, which is exactly what we want. To make it easier to adjust later, I'll also pin the snake's object properties. Next, let's shape the curve. Select the curve and switch to edit mode. Here I can extrude and rotate the curve to wrap it around the wood base and also around the bottle. Take your time here. The smoother you shape the curve, the more natural the snake movement will look. Now, if you want to rotate the snake at any point, it's very simple. Just select a vertex on the curve, press Ctrl T, and rotate it. This gives you fine control over how the snake twists as it wraps around the object. I'll use this to adjust the positioning and make the animation look more realistic. After a little tweaking, the snake is now perfectly wrapped around the bottle. And the best part is, when I move the snake along the x-axis, it follows the curve beautifully wrapping just the way we want. With the animation setup done, let's take things further and adjust the render properties to make this scene look cinematic. Now let's set up the render properties and lighting for our scene. First, go to the render properties panel, change the render engine from Eevee to Cycles, 
then switch the device from CPU to GPU for faster rendering. To keep the scene light while we're working, I'll lower the viewport samples to 20 and also turn on denoising. This way, we still get a clean preview without heavy noise. Next, let's add some lighting. I'll go into Render View so we can see the changes in real time. First, I'll add an area light. I'll scale it up to cover the scene and increase the power so it gives us nice soft lighting on the product. To add more depth, I'll bring in a point light and increase its power. This helps highlight the snake and bottle from another angle. I'll also add one more point light, adjust its position, and tweak the power until everything looks balanced. After that, I'll go to the World Properties tab and decrease the background strength. This makes the scene look more dramatic and keeps the focus on the product and the snake. Now let's animate the snake. Select the snake, go to the Object Properties panel, and add a keyframe on the x-axis. Then move forward on the timeline, change the x value to make the snake move along the curve, and insert another keyframe. When we play it back, you can see the snake following the curve smoothly, wrapping around the bottle just like we planned. Finally, let's add a camera, frame the shot the way we want, and we're done. The animation is ready to render. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Visual Gravity for more Blender VFX and animation tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.